what's up guys welcome back to our road to dark aether here on my second account and in our last video our top comment was from charlie saying he wants to get the type 63 with a whole bunch of attachments done so that's what we're doing today and if you want to go ahead and suggest a weapon for us to use in our next video go ahead and leave those comments down below i'll have a comment there as well as all the weapons that we've completed right now we only have two more attack rifles to go after this and the sigma so please only attack rifles or the sigma and make sure you leave what map you want me to play on down below as well. Oh yeah, and also, Charlie wants us to play on Firebase C. All right, so I'm sorry, Charlie, but I'm not gonna be using your attachments the whole time, but I did make a custom mod for him. We go over here, we have Bofa, the one with the six time scope on it that I will not be using the whole time. Maybe we'll just pull it out for Orda. And here is the weapon I'm actually gonna be using. So really quick, let's go through those attachments. Uh, I have the Cobra Red Dot, KMG Eliminator, Task Force Barrel, Ember Sighting Point, Bruiser Grip, 35 round mag, Speed Grip, and our Raider Stock. And for Charlie's mod for it, we have the Hangman RF Barrel, which is a six times scope, which is ridiculous. Uh, normally we save challenges for the challenge series, but I, I think it'd be funny to try to use it on Ordo once we get to him. Uh, here's our Grow Suppressor or Silencer, Rapid Fire Barrel, Tiger Team Spotlight, Bruiser Grip, 45 round mag, Speed Grip, and no stock. So this is going to be the one that we use when Orda shows up. But let's take a quick look at our camos here. We actually have quite a bit done in the kills department. We are very close to getting our rotten camo, but that normally doesn't hold us back because it's always the crits that take the longest. But even still, we have a thousand crits for this already. Uh, this did take me a while to level up, so I did have a lot of kills. I'll talk about the leveling a little more later but let's look at our brush stroke we still need about a thousand one hundred for that vintage is done fauna is done topo is done infection we just unlocked so we have nothing done for this but it should be pretty easy to get done and like i said before this is gonna be our second tack rifle done so we're gonna need two more after this we already have the m16 done so we have the carve the dmr and the aug as options as well as the sigma so those are like the only weapons we have left before dark aether and we'll do all the dlc weapons after that but we're gonna be heading on in with ring of fire i think we can finally use ring of fire here uh it's been a while since we've actually been able to use a, a real field upgrade so that's gonna be fun by a real field upgrade i mean that is my real field upgrade but let's go ahead hop on firebase c and get this thing done all right here we go driving on in with the twin got the type 63 in our hands and we got a bit to do today but it shouldn't be too difficult as long as i'm hitting my headshots we should be in and out of here pretty quickly i'm gonna go ahead and throw my prediction in right now i'm gonna say we're done by like round 35 and i think that's uh that's pushing it a little bit but we're, we're getting down to the wire here on our on our final weapons but when i was leveling this thing up it seemed to take at least double as long as it normally does i don't know if i wasn't being as efficient in getting kills or something but normally when i i get these things leveled up i'll stream it uh i'll, I'll play outbreak with you guys here on youtube when i stream it and this time it took probably about like three maybe even four games of outbreak to get it up to 50 like it was ridiculous so i don't know if you guys have noticed like a weapon xp decrease either in zombies or just in general here in cold war but it seems like a really weird time to put that in maybe i'm just dumb and i wasn't like uh paying too much attention you know to to what i needed to get done or be as efficient as i could but i feel like every other weapon i've tried to level up leveled up so much faster than the type 63 did oh my god i can't aim so just let me know if you guys have noticed any sort of weird weapon xp things and zombies i know round base has been real bad for xp since it's you know been out well or, or since they they nerfed it when it was like insane for it but outbreak has usually been pretty reliable let's go ahead grab the loose change from tombstone i just need a little more money to be able to open this door unless it's a thousand why can i never remember door prices oh it is a thousand i'm still gonna wait a little bit the spawns are gonna be a lot faster here so we need a thousand two hundred and fifty to open the next door plus 500 for the reactor we need about like 3k here oh max ammo already well we have so much ammo they dropped max ammos and nukes way too early in zombies drop me like an insta killer or a double points even a carpenter as long as you're gonna drop me armor for it but i'm kind of sad that we're we're almost done grinding guns on this account like we're, we're gonna have dark aether and we still have a lot of like dlc weapons to do but i feel like i've just been flying through guns like we started this a few weeks before vanguard came out i wanted to try to get dark aether before vanguard came out and that was a little ambitious but now we're we're extremely close and it's just a little sad let's go ahead pop this open grind the rail oh look at our points 420 points as we grind the rail easy we'll take the loose change and now we can start the reactor we're actually doing really good on our crits every single kill we've gotten today has been a crit could this be the perfect game the fabled perfect game oh i almost choked that one oh i cannot aim dude i'm trying my damnedest oh quick clat i need you zombies to calm down up here oh another clat Ooh, still going perfect whole first reactor perfect 
Look at that. 40 for 40. We're going to make a documentary out of this. Let's pop this open. Hop on down here. Start up the reactor. And we're going to need some loose change. Bring that here. Any zombies down here? What's up, pal? Shalit. Oh, there's your friend. Go on. Hey, no running. No hitting either. And you're you're just going to get shot. Oh, no. I almost missed it. This is dangerous. I'm going to let him get down first. I don't want to fuck up the crits. Come on. Almost. My aim is so awful. There we go. Still perfect, though. It might take me a while, but we're still getting the headshots. Get a little extra cash. Oh, no. His head even came off and again, give me the elimination for a crit. That's horse shit. The game's actually trolling. All right, whatever. Perfect game's out of the bag. But we did get some interesting news over the weekend, or at least not over the weekend. What The news came out, what, what day is it? The news came out on Monday, so that's on a weekend. And I accidentally threw a grenade. Great. I'm making all kinds of mistakes here. But as the day that I'm recording this, uh, Activision Blizzard just got bought by Microsoft. So that's going to be pretty insane. Uh, kind of crazy that I bought a PlayStation just for all the exclusive COD content. And then uh, they get bought by Xbox. So pretty cool. Uh, honestly, not a big fan of exclusivity deals. Hopefully that Xbox like gets away with that. Like they, they don't, or Microsoft doesn't keep doing exclusivity deals because it really just makes them have to like put out a half-ass mode for one platform instead of just having like a full mode for both. So I don't know. What do you guys think about the, the acquisition? I kind of think it's going to help Activision a little bit. You know, they've been in hot water. They're finally getting away from the... They're absolutely awful CEO, but like, hopefully this does some good for Activision. Maybe we'll actually see Treyarch get some help here, get some much needed time off and, you know, get the re all the resources they need for their, their next game. So we can get a fully fledged out zombies mode. Cause I'm pretty sure the Treyarch game coming out is supposed to be the first game coming out under their new acquisition. So hopefully they get all the, the budget and everything they need and they have enough time to, you know, make a, a nice full game for us. But we do not have enough money to pack a punch. I'm going to grab the loose change. I need dead shot like yesterday. Bring that here. And we have a little bit of time before the round starts. So I'm going to try to do the bunny Easter egg. Come here. Come on, little bunny. Almost there. Zombie, don't hit me. Thank you. All right. Let's see if he dances. Let's go. Let's pop and lock in it. Too bad all of his friends are getting domed and not in a good way. These zombies really need to fuck off. Stay away from me. Actually, you know what? Let's get some crits. We're here for a reason. Oh, Mimic. Fuck off. Nope, 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 nope. Not going down here. That would be embarrassing. I feel so slow with this thing. Come on. Kicking into high gear. Let go of me right now. Oh, no. All right. Enough fucking around. Take out the bunny. No, let go. No way. The bunny's not dead. Thank you. Mimic, you're dead too. Fuck off. Don't knock me. That was probably the most stressful bear Easter egg I've ever done in my life for absolutely no reason. All right. And I'm betting we're getting the bullfrog from this. Nope. That looks like an LMG. And it's the M60. Cringe. Free jug, though. We take those. Ooh, bonus points. We also take those. Honestly, the Type 63 is not that bad. The, the semi-auto is a little weird to get used to for me for some reason. But it does not do, like, bad damage at all. I mean, we're only at round six, so we'll see how it does once we get to higher rounds. But it seems pretty decent. Let's try it with a Ring of Fire. I feel like this thing's going to slam Orta. We're already doing, like, what? 2,000 damage per headshot? Or 4,000 damage. And this thing isn't even pack-a-punched yet. So let's go ahead and get it pack-a-punched. Take out this zombie. And let's take a look at it pack-a-punch before I, I forget. This is type 63 pack-a-punch one. This looks awful. I also kind of have a blueprint on it. So I don't think that's helping out a lot. But there you go. Kind of disgusting. But well, we got 5k. Let's go over here. And let's start getting death perception. So we can get some salvage up. And speaking of salvage, I'm grabbing armor and upgrading our gun to green. There's a fucking mimic here that's gonna go to bed. Oh, this thing's a monster. Now we just chill here until we got enough to buy all the perks that we need. And then probably on our way out, we'll hit the rampage inducer. Ooh, more double points. That's what we like to see. Helping us get set up faster. There's no way we can't upgrade anything else, right? Oh, plus 6,900 points, sex. Let's get blue. Can't upgrade our armor yet, but what perk do we need next? We'll get speed cola. And then after that, we'll go ahead and buy meal kick so we can get infinite ammo basically. And we're already pretty much set up. Like we're, we're slamming through these rounds, actually being so efficient. And we've only missed 14 crits this game. Like this is our best game crit wise. This thing just one taps everything, except for maybe elites. Elites for sure get away with it. Oh, there's corrosion camo, 20 or more kills without getting hit. Easy jackrabbit. And there's another one. Reload a little faster. Speed Cola does not feel any faster at all in this game. Like I was playing World at War Speed Cola insanely fast. Here, it's like nothing. But we just got Mule Kick. Oh, we got Mule Kick and then they just drop us max ammo. Max ammo will literally only drop when you don't need it. All that it's programmed in to do is to troll. Insta-kill, do not need that. I, I've been a big avoider of insta-kill lately. 
I kind of feel like it messes up with your timings and you're with your camos. But what else do we need? I guess I'll get quick revive just in case. We almost have all the perks we need. We're just going to need stamina up and PhD. And we're all good to go. I hear a mimic. Oh, there's our drench camo. 1500 kills while it's pack a punch. Let's go. Mimic, sleep. All oh, their zombies, sleep. Oh, this thing's nice. And it's got so many bullets on the mag. How many does it have fully loaded? 42. That's a lot. And its max ammo has got to be like at what? 460, maybe even 500. I forgot to check earlier. That is not bad at all. This is probably like one of the better like sleeper guns and zombies. Like nobody really uses this, I don't think. It's kind of underrated. Oh, actually it's max ammo is 420. Let's go. And the pack budget name is Helveka or Vet... Vet Vetka? That sounds like something PewDiePie would say. There's our entropathy camo. Let's go. Still unlocking camos here. All right, we finally got enough to get another perk. We're grabbing PhD. And then we're very close to being able to get our stamina up. And we should be able to get both of those this round. And then we'll turn on Rampage Inducer and then just try to coast through everything else. Like, look at this. With Deadshot, this thing is disgusting. Just bam, sleep. Don't even have to fully aim in. Just enough for it to lock onto their head. And a little double points for us. They're spoiling us right now. Oh my god. Reloading with speed cola. Literally, there's zero change. Makes no sense. Oh, please don't knock me here. Jeez, I'm playing like way too relaxed. I'm literally just sitting here shooting. But here comes our first assault wave. We do have enough to get stamina up, so let's do that. We still have a little more money, so I'm going to go ahead and grab cryo. Let's upgrade our armor from two to three, or from one to two to three. And now we can just go ahead and chill out our assault wave. Oh, wait, first, before we even get there. We're gonna need the rampage inducer. Let's go. All right, let's see what beach is that. Oh, it's at Colonel's Beach. All right, where you at, zombies? There they are. I still don't know why they go ahead and jump over the sandbag over here when they can just run straight down. Like, what's the point of putting in the extra effort of hurdling that? What? Why are you guys throwing shit at me? I'm not even that high up. Oh my God, that was fast. We're already done. Now, do we go Colonel's or do we go to Weapons Lab? Since we're right by Colonel's, we might as well stay here. I also haven't greeted the boys yet. Come on, let me defend them. All right, actually, there's too much. I'll have to greet them after this round. I don't want to get killed right in front of them. I want to traumatize the boys back there. Yeah, this thing's a monster. There's like no thought involved right now. Aim shoot. All right, we got a little bit of time. There you go. What's going on, fellas? I guarantee if I showed you guys the clip of me reloading with speed cola and they asked if it was with or without speed cola, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Like, look how slow this is. Ready? Starting right now. Reload. Mag in, mag out, and cocked. Okay, that kind of actually was fast. Maybe I'm just reloading whenever I'm running out of bullets and not like mid mag. Maybe that makes it longer. At the same time, it should be fast. Like speed call is a scam. Oh my lance. So look at this yellow text wall. D don't look at those the white text there. That doesn't exist. That's not real. You're just imagining it. Okay, the mangler's tanking damage. Never mind, he's sleeping. And we're already look at look at this ratio. 488 to 446. This has to be the best we've ever done on crits. This is insane. This has to be one of the most efficient guns in zombies. Or at least zombies camo grinding. Can you get away from me, sir? Thanks. Like, this gun is dominant. Ooh, glitch camo. And threshold. There's our 1,500 crits. So, from right here, we're at 1,480... Four. We should be all done with our crits, at least around that range. And we do have a zombie stuck right now. Either that or just one falling way behind, but that gives us time to go ahead and pack a punch. So I'm gonna go do that. All right, let's grab pack a punch two. This is what pack a punch two looks like on the type 63. A little better, but I should have probably took the blueprint off before I made the custom mod. Either way, definitely better than the piss and shit form. Get out of my face. And now we just need to save up a little more for pack three. We should be able to get that before Orta shows up at least. But now I want to go try out weapons lab. I want to see how this thing lasts there because we were being very efficient in kernels, but can it do even better here? I feel like it's, it's not going to be better, but we might be able to survive. Like if it can survive in weapons lab, it's a pretty good weapon. Also just upgraded it to pink or purple, whatever one it is. Oh no. Okay. This time I'm not mad about it being an insta kill because I kind of need it. Yeah. I don't know if it has the fire rate to survive in here, even though it's fi fires at fast as I can shoot the trigger. We also got a rotten camo there as I was almost going into a stutter fit. So we're all done with our normal kills. We, and we, we already knew we we're going to get those pretty fast. But can we upgrade any more? No, we're going to need a lot more blue scrap. Maybe if I stand right here, this will be better. The zombie has to come out and do a full pause. Let's hit him with that ring of fire. We haven't tried surviving with a ring of fire in here yet. I do want that double points bad. But it'll still be there for us. It's not going to go away anytime soon. Grabbing it now. There's our conviction camo. We're all done with jackrabbits, which is perfect because we just got hit. And we have an assault wave. So that double point's really 
did not help us at all. But we're only like 2,000 away, basically, from getting pack three. And this has to have been our most efficient run so far. Look at look at the, the crits to eliminations ratio. When have you ever seen that? Give me that free napalm strike. All right, where are these zombies coming from? Go ahead, peek out. There they are. Even from here, I'm getting crits. Okay, you guys cannot be touching this machine. I'll tell you what. Mangler, get the fuck out of here. Oh, there's a lot of them. Everybody get back. You don't know me like that. Come on, zombies. Run me my crits. There we go. Easy assault wave. Grab both of those. We don't quite have enough yet to get this thing gold, but I think I'm done with weapons lab for today. That got a little too hairy, a little too fast. And we don't know how many more times we're gonna be able to grind camos and kernels, so I'm gonna sit in here with my boys. Here, actually one more for you guys. There we go. And I'm kind of hoping that we get that mangler stuck glitch again. That way we can go get pack-a-punch just without any like zombie interference. And come on, the crits here are undeniable. It's actually ridiculous how many we get here. Okay, I think it's just this mangler left and he's really weak and low. Look at him, look at him chasing after me. What are you gonna do? Oh, he has a gun, I forgot about that. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go get this thing triple pack. There we go. Pack punch three, basically all perk around 20 you know i'll get tombstone too i can't afford elemental but i'm not getting it i don't want any all i don't want all that the shatter blast is just gonna throw me off it's gonna take me off this like amazing crit ratio that we have going on right now but let's go ahead and check out pack three on this pretty good even with the the blueprint on it still does not look bad what's up mangler you want to get in the shot idiot how do you miss i'm right here okay now he's throwing hands i'm out look at him running after us to leap all right come on zombies you don't got all day here okay i need somebody else in the comments Go use a Type 63 and then come back to me and tell me if it's doing as good as it's doing here. Like this gun is criminally efficient and it's doing way more than I thought it was due. Look at this. With Ring of Fire, it's still just one tapping in the head. This is like sniper damage with damn near close to AR speed and ammo. And of course, our little mangler buddy is stuck over here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Reload a little faster, please. It's getting a little nuts in here. Psych. Type 63 can handle anything. I definitely would not want to be using this on a high round, though. If you're getting mobbed like that, you're not surviving. I guess this thing one taps even without Ring of Fire. Look at this. Sleep. Right here. Gone. Okay, zombies, zombies. Why don't we calm down here, okay? Why don't we just take a step back and, you know, think about what we're doing? What's the real reason we're all here? For me to get crits. That's right. These zombies need to start acting right. Mangler. How many times I got to teach you this lesson, old man? Go to bed. Past your bedtime. Hey, why are you going around that side of the desk? Why are you doing that? You don't need that. Ooh, attack rifle master. Look at us getting stuff done. I feel like we're getting close on our pack-a-punch kills. Our crits are getting way up there too. I actually cannot believe the amount of crits we're getting. I've been saying it the whole video, but it's actually like astronomical. Any zombies left? Oh, there he is. You know what? Um, since he took his time to spawn in, I'm gonna take my time killing him. Let's see if we can upgrade anything. If not, we just came back here to refill our armor, which I'm fine with. Yep. Okay, so probably about two more rounds before we can get this thing to gold. Oh, hi, Mangler. Shut the fuck up and die. And get teabagged, you little bitch. Teabagging you before you even fully get to the ground. Uh-oh. Now he's got a friend. Honestly, you don't even need to spam fire this thing if, like, you keep him far enough back. Just little taps will do it. A mangler is basically a two tap to the head. Every zombie's gonna be a one tap to the head. Like, this thing is just a monster. It's gotta be one of the most underrated guns in this game. Like, this is what the DMR wishes it was. Actually, the DMR had its day in Warzone, but nobody wants to remember DMR Zone. Actually, with Death Perception on, this is kind of looking like Warzone. Just seeing everybody through walls. We have not gotten a camo in a minute. That means we gotta be on to our last few. Speaking of which, there's our pack a bunch camo. See, I can just sense when camos are about to pop up i think our pack a punch was just a little ahead of our crits so crits should be coming soon here if we can get crits done before orda that's gonna be insane we actually might be able to two rounds from now is when he can start spawning but he never shows up right on 30 at least not for me anymore and all we need is like 400 500 more crits we might be able to swing that or might be able to get it while fighting him or while fighting him whatever the correct grammar is whomst it of just keep the crits coming zombies serving them up fresh Fuck it, i'll take a double points why not okay if this thing's actually shredding as much as i think it is we should absolutely obliterate order with this you know what i'm gonna go ahead and use charlie's build for the next round there we go look at that fat ass scope on it disgusting what's up mangler even with this big ass scope it doesn't just aim for his head there we go easy hey we'll actually be able to measure how far out order spawns in at that's one benefit of using this oh, of course we're greeted right by a mangler oh this zoom is ridiculous come on you wanted me to use this the whole game this is gross. There's, you literally can't even decipher what's happening on the screen. It's just me like quick scoping. Honestly, it looks a little more sick. It actually look like I'm going crazy on them, which I am, but it looks like I'm going even more crazy. Ooh, actually, that's kind of satisfying. Ooh, check it out. Bam, bop, boo, pow, blam. Everybody getting headshots today. Okay, everybody on the decoy, please. Okay, or don't throw the decoy and I'll just go down. Cool, sick. 
you know, you saw me pull out the decoy. What do they do? Just, you know, the zombie politely put his hand over mine and asked me to put it back in my pocket. Very little bitch. Okay, I'll use my self-revive then. Jeez. Classless zombies. Tell you what. Everybody on the decoy. Okay, now I threw it. I don't know what the problem was before. All I know is that was bullshit. It's also bullshit how I lost my death or my dead shot, even though it was the first perk that I bought. So now I need to go back and get everything else back. All right, we got to get the most important perk back and then everything else. Let's go ahead, repair our armor and upgrade this to gold and slaughter that last zombie. Oh, and Ornus here on round 30 for the first time in forever. He's actually showed up on time. He saw me go down and he got that little boost of confidence. He's like, yeah, I can take him. We'll see about that, Orda. I only need like one more kill for a Ring of Fire 2. Yeah, you're done. Oh, is this a Type 63 wall by? No, that's a DMR. All right, come on down. The range is no. Okay, he's spawning way back here. 121 meters out, maybe 125. We're doing a thousand damage per bullet. That's ridiculous. That's actually insane numbers. Okay, let's get a few kills here so we can get our Ring of Fire going. Perfect. Okay, 1500 per shot, 1600. Going up to 1700, 18. Oh, this thing absolutely just shreds him. He's still far as hell away too. And he's at half health. I don't even care that there's zombies behind me. We're actually just shooting at him. That's it. Okay. Now these zombies kind of need to fuck off. So you guys can eat a nade. We're doing numbers on Orda. He's already almost dead. Oh, and he's critting. You're done. Big mistake, pal. You're lucky I had to reload through most of that crit, but you're done. You're asleep. All right. You might as well just showed up in your pajamas. Oh, Mimic, you dickhead. You absolute swine. Oh, they actually did so much damage to this thing. Hold on. Let me kill Orda. I was not paying attention to the zombies at all there. All right, we got him killed. Easy stuff. Let's get a few crits while he's sitting there dying. Jeez, this thing just shredded the shit out of him. He did get some feet in here and they did get a lot of damage on him, but I was literally just focusing on him the whole time. Oh shit. I forgot how fast these rounds start. All right, maybe we'll just finish the game out with the, the scope on it. We're still getting an insane amount of crits. Like this is actually what aimbot looks like. That shot is so nice on controller. Holy shit. Get the fuck away from me. Oh, quiet reflection. 500 eliminations with something I didn't see. Oh, we unlocked something. Like, look at this. Bop. Wait, bop. Oh, that was a clat. I didn't even need to boot, bang, or pow. But we're only 300 crits away from our, like, just eliminations. Like, literally. We're at 1,500 to 1,200. Insane ratio there. Plus L. To be honest, we're not even playing as well as we could. We didn't even go down with the RPG, I don't think. And with this, we've already gone down once. But to be fair, that was because the decoy did not work. This has to be the round we get it, right? Like, come on. How close are we? Oh, we're only 100 out. So we can get this right at Xville. Or like a round before. Oh, look at our eliminations. Sex. All right, this is for sure the round. There's 100 zombies in this round. They're all just getting domed in a bad way. You sickos. Don't knock me again, please. I don't need that in my life. Get on the decoy. I'm throwing another one out there just to be safe. Why is there so many elites in here? I literally can't tell what's happening. Okay, I'm leaving. Too hot in the kitchen. There's like... Okay, Hellhound. All right, I feel you. Sometimes I just want to be doing that too. Jeez, I couldn't even finish my uh, sentence without the Hellhound freaking out on me. But there's like three manglers in there or three mimics and a mangler. I'm not dealing with that. I'll just come back up here and deal with it when they're all in a straight line. Okay, and then we leave after the zombie fucks off. Let's just do it all over again. I almost have enough for another ring of fire too. If we can somehow get this before the mimics and everything get in the room, we're chilling. Okay, we got it. Big chilling. Let's just make sure that we're getting our headshots. We're taking our time. Two zombies left. Oh, they're crawlers. Gone. Sleep. They're twins. Okay, maybe we didn't get it that last time, but we're for sure getting it this one. Oh, we need one, two. Oh, 420, 420. We, you saw it for a second there. It said 420. I got to dip out though. Okay, so this thing is like nice, but it's fire rate, or at least the way I'm shooting it to uh, keep the recoil steady enough to get crit. Uh, cannot stand in kernels at round 34. So it's like good, but I wouldn't use this as your main weapon. Like this would be a, a very good secondary. Oh my God. Maybe if you got a ring of fire though, bring this shit out. Does it go in? I'm gonna try shooting as fast as I can. Oh, there's gold viper. See, all I had to do is shoot as fast as I could. Let's go. We're out of here with gold viper. That's one more weapon down. Two tack rifles to go and the Sigma. I guess I'll just try to survive till x fill. That way we can get out of here cleanly. Just these elites take so many shots to kill. And then everything gets clogged up because I'm focusing all fire on these elites. And then I can't kill one elite, three more spawn behind it, and then you're almost dead. Like, come on, Mimic, just die already. Thank you. All right, all we got to do is survive this round and we'll be able to exfil. Just survive it with no armor. Get on the decoy, please. Or don't throw it again. Oh, I did throw it. Oh, shit. I don't have a self-revive. I forgot to buy that. And I don't have electric cherry to get myself up because this 1911 is not going to do anything. Even with the zombie, like, low health, it's going to take forever. Huh, interesting. All tombstone shadow. Just run in with our fists. We're going in 
with big balls. Actually, we can get this easy. Look at this. Tombstone actually saving the day. All the times I've shitted on Tombstone, the last two videos I've done on Cold War, it actually kind of saved me. Still don't like it very much, though. I'll stand by that. I will admit that it is somewhat useful. It's keeping this run alive. Uh-oh. This is the end, though. Unless I can make it out of this. With a nade to the ground, I can't. Quick revive, maybe. Okay. Well, I think that's it. Unless I can just knife a zombie to death. Come here. Yeah, stay right there. <laughs> Come on. The game depends on this. Don't you move. I'm spamming the fuck out of this. Look. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep our game alive, zombie. Go ahead and die. Go in cardiac arrest right now. Oh, we got it. Holy shit. Decoy's going down. I'm getting out of here. No perks. No nothing. Woo. We're out. Holy shit. By the door. That's twice we had to save ourselves this round. I, I just get gold viper and just lose all ambition to stay alive. All right, let's hop down here. Check this out. Ready? Decoy going down. Punching the hellhound to death. We're getting this and this and we're dead again. Oh, there's a nuke. I need a zombie to get close to me so I can electric cherry. There we go. Got him. And the nuke. Is that the round? Either way, I'm, I'm grabbing perks and repairing the armor. Looks like it's just mimics. So I'm going to go up near where the exfil is going to start. We've really just been crawling our way through this last round. You know, as a, as a wise man once said, I get knocked down, but I get up again because you're never going to keep me down. And that's just what we're doing here today. There's one more menace to society somewhere. Come on, pal. Where are you spawning at? Why do manglers always have to get stuck? All right, well, oh wait, are you finally spawning back in, you little shit? Thank you. Goodbye. Exfil time. World record Exfil. Pop this door open. And we're going to get out of here the fun way. Everybody eat a cashmere. And guess what? On top of that cashmere, there's going to be a napalm strike. <laughs> get fucked. Oh, what? One cashmere wasn't enough for you guys? What, you want more? Coming for seconds? Okay. There you go. Oh, wait. Did Mule Kick give me another one? Guess what? Go for it. Double cashmere? Look at that. Two ball in it. Goodbye. That's all of them. Cashmere's are so fun. Let's hop on in and get out of here. All right. Our final stats, 2,046 kills, 1,521 crits. Towards the end there, we weren't really going for crits, but our crit ratio was kind of insane. But also, four downs. <laughs> all right. Let's take a look at what the Type 63 looks like with Mastery Camos on it. Here's Gold Viper. Also, I took the blueprint off just to give you guys a better look at it. It sucks that the inspect in this game still doesn't show it with camos on it. Oh, it does. Okay. So there's Gold Viper, Type 63. Very nice. It actually looks very clean, even in the gunsmith myth, but we'll see it in game in a second. This is what it looks like with Plague Diamond. Oh, can't expect it like that. Okay. A Plague Diamond, very nice. And Dark Aether, which we are very close to. Well, let's go ahead, hop in game and see what it looks like in there. All right. This is what the Type 63 looks like in a game with Gold Viper on it. Very, very nice. Honestly, it has a really good balance of just the, the matte black and the camo on it very good probably one of the better looking gold viper weapons in this game and honestly it surprised me a lot with how well it actually did and zombies i mean besides those downs which i miraculously got up from it did not do bad and it kind of just decimated orda which is all we really want to look for in a gun uh, whenever we're playing on firebase c i just wanted to slap the shit out of them but there you have it another weapon down uh we only have two more attack rifles left which are i'll go through them again the dmr the aug or the carve those are the only weapons and the sigma literally that's it you suggest anything besides that i will not take it we will do dlc weapons after dark aether but make sure you leave whatever map you want me to play on as well as the suggestion of those that i just listed but that's where i'm gonna go ahead and end the video so if you guys like this and you want to see more go ahead and leave a like on it if you didn't and you don't dislike if you're new here please consider subscribing put out all kinds of content throughout the week that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later